different reason with my gluons. It's still very similar to what I was talking about, what old Laurie taught me. But this one's for a different reason. I always clean up the inside of my bars here because that's going to be very crucial of where we're bonding. Our heel block will bond to the inside of the inside of these heels. So I always run the knives along. Just trying to. It's all about hook prep with glue on. So I'm just. I'll probably do ten times more knife wire too. I'll probably look like I'm scratching around them a bit, but I'm just trying to get all the mud out. Just try and make the foot as clean as I can because your hoof prep with glue-ons is everything. Um, if you got one coming off, the first if I've had if I've lost one, the first thing I do is think about what my hoof prep was that day. Or there's something within my process what has let down why it's probably come off. Sometimes you can just get a bad bit of glue. Then you think of the process when I was gluing it on, maybe it didn't go off quick enough or there was something up, maybe it was in a container or a shipment too long, or when you're gluing on, you realize, oh geez, that isn't setting as good as previous times, and sometimes they can come off. But generally, if your hook, hook prep's right, your material's good, it doesn't matter if they go out in the paddock, it should stand up. I start from heel to heel with my raft, give the dorsal wall a real good clean. Trying to size this foot up. With the glons, if you're tossing up between a bigger size and a smaller size, I always go bigger. You need a bit more plate there to be able to bond to. So if I'm tossing up, I always go bigger, but I'm pretty confident this one's gonna be a sit. What I'm what I'm doing now. For me, it isn't abnormal to have two sizes when it's coming to glue Because if you're short, it, your bond isn't going to be anywhere near as good and it's going to break down on you. So if I'm questioning in my head, I'll shape two, which I'm going to do now to make sure it's perfect. I'll shape two plates up and just then choose which one I'm going with. If you want to see the fit, just quickly pick it up and have a quick look at, look at my fit. you've got the ute accessible, I just use the linisher, but just clean that foot surface right up. So you can achieve it if you're in the stables with just with sandpaper, but just clean that foot surface right up. And once I've done that, I don't touch it even with my hands. Don't go anywhere near that now. You don't want grease or anything on it. So as soon as that's clean, I only touch it on the outside.